Oh, hello. I'm Keith Haywood, and welcome to another midweek message on behalf of St Anne's Church, Chasetown, for Wednesday the 24th of February, 2021. I've always loved reading, especially a good novel with a gripping storyline. But unfortunately, it's one of those pastimes that's always been put on the back burner of things to do. So over the years, most of my reading matter has been done on holiday. In fact, whilst on one particular holiday, one of my sons commented that I must be the most boring person to go on holiday with, as I always had my head stuck in a book. Well, that aside, as this past year has had more than its fair share of restrictions for us all, I've been able to rekindle some of my lost passion for reading. Because of the fact that the local libraries have been closed to the general public, anyone who wants to take out a book have had to contact them and tell them the authors that you like or the genre of the books and they'll choose a selection for you to collect. And it's because of that I've discovered some exciting new authors that I perhaps normally wouldn't have found myself, which has resulted in many hours of gripping reading. I guess we all love a good story in one form or another, don't we? Perhaps some of us can remember the stories we were told as a child. I remember well the Enid Blyton adventures of the famous five or the secret seven. And I guess that many of us watch TV dramas or a film and are gripped by the storyline. We find ourselves turning the light off to go to sleep far later than we intended because we're so engrossed in our bedtime reading. Just one more chapter. So if you like listening to stories, here's one I heard earlier. Are you sitting comfortably? Good, then I'll begin. The story goes that high on the moors, whilst on a walking holiday, a church minister met a young shepherd boy who was watching over his flock of sheep. As they got chatting, the boy asked the minister to tell him about the Christian faith. While well, using the situation that was surrounding him, the minister explained to the young shepherd that Jesus was like a shepherd who cares for his sheep. And Jesus wants to be his shepherd too. Using the opening words of the 23rd Psalm, the Lord is my shepherd, the minister raised his right hand. And starting with his thumb, he pointed to each of his fingers as he said each word. The Lord is my shepherd. And as he said this, he emphasized, he emphasized the word my and held on to the fourth finger of his right hand. The important thing he said is to be able to say that the Lord is my shepherd. Well, some years later, the minister went back to the same place. Walking across the same fields, he was looking out for the boy, but couldn't find him anywhere. Seeing a farmhouse in the distance, he thought he'd knock on the door and ask if they knew whether he was still around. It was told that the previous winter, on a day when the boy was out in the fields, there had been a violent storm during which the boy had died on the hills in a snowdrift. The person telling the story said that the whole village had turned out for his funeral. But there was one thing that no one could understand. When his body was discovered, he was holding 
onto the fourth finger of his right hand. For Christians, of course, the best book to read is the Bible. For it tells of God's love for everyone and how he wishes everyone to know him and love him too. In fact, the Bible is a whole library of books in one volume, containing stories of history, poetry, songs, prophecy, genealogy, promises, destruction, rebuilding, transformation, joy, the future, new hope, eternal life, and so much more. In fact, one acronym that's given of the word Bible is Basic Instructions for the Best Life Ever. Bible. It's been a tough 12 months for us all, hasn't it? And it's not over yet. But allow me to remind you of some of the promises of God in the psalm that young shepherd boy in our story claimed as his own from Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. He offers his friendship, love, care and protection to all who would follow him. He leads me beside still waters, refreshes my soul, and leads me in the right paths. He offers calm, refreshment and guidance to all who trust in him. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil, for you are with me. No matter how dark life sometimes seems, we're never alone because God promises to be beside us all the way. And finally, I shall dwell in God's house forever. A promise with an assurance that when we walk with God on earth, then one day we will walk with him in eternity. My prayer for you is that when life get, gets tough, you may be able to hold on to the fourth finger of your right hand and proclaim with confidence, the Lord is my shepherd. A prayer. Loving God, I thank you that as a shepherd cares for his sheep, you long to care for me. May I put my trust deeper into you and receive your love, your peace, your care and your protection today and throughout my life. Amen.